So Upton Oaks really um, started back in the early 90s, 1990 to be exact, and I'd had the fortunate um, opportunity to go working with a friend of mine in a uh, furniture workshop. He did restoration and new furniture, and we just worked together there. He gave me a few jobs to do, and, and the first uh, few jobs I did was some trunks for a uh, customer up the Arbitrary Valley right here in Marlborough and delivered them up there when they were complete and the lady took me out the back, showed me the massive stand of oak trees that had been planted way back in the 1800s and it was amazing. I'd never seen anything like it. I mean, I was just new at this. Oaks were just incredible. The size of them was amazing. And the guy offered me this oak tree that had fallen way down this gully and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna be back to get this. Well, I never did, but that's beside the point. But I got so excited about the oaks and of course I'd driven up past the Upton Downs Road and put the two names together, the Upton and the Oaks, and, it, and it's stayed ever since. So we're, we're very happy with the name. It seems to have sort of um, settled with us and, and worked well for us for the sort of furniture that, that we do. So back in the early days, the designs that people were after just weren't available in the shops, and we were able to sort of make these uh, simple designs, coffee tables, sea chests, trunks, you know, um, wheelbarrows. I used to go out fossicking around in old sheds uh, on farms and things like that and find these uh, forged iron wheels that we would mount into the front of a wheelbarrow and the ladies would, would love these. You know, they were um, filled with pot plants or uh, filled, actually filled with, with soil or potting mix and they grew their flowers in it and, and we had one ourselves until it absolutely disintegrated with rot and, and, and I imagine a few of them have. Um, so, you know, those early designs were just something that we, we could do and you know, coming from a carpentry background um, had the skills to be able to um, make these these designs and we, our skills just developed from there. I just used to look at uh, the insides of a working of a chest of drawers and think right oh, this is how it works and and, and this is how we're going to go about uh, making it. So there was no internet back in those days, no Google to go researching you know what, what we, how do you make this, what do you do, uh, no YouTube to follow, it was just really get out there, find an old piece of furniture and think right that's how it happens so we, that's what we did. I've had fantastic staff around me um, from very early on uh, in the piece, you know, guys that, that have stayed many years with us, brought to us um, great skill sets and just great attitudes and abilities, and we've just nutted it out ourselves. We've, we've worked out how to to do these designs, pushed ourselves beyond you know, measure many times, and the finishing techniques we've we've developed over the years, you know, from from simple oil finishes through to two pot lacquering today which is so strong so durable and long lasting and people expect that and and that's what we want to deliver so um the designs changed dramatically over the years one time i would have thought never would i be doing anything contemporary but you know trends change things change and we find ourselves now making you know wall units for people that would be the whole length of a wall um, you know, with books and ornaments and, and their TV and all the audio gear within them. And that would be a painted finish, say. It would be, um, you know, two-pot paint matching the walls of their house or something like that. So we've got the ability to do all that in-house. And um, we just love the challenges that come our way. You know, designs of tables that you think, how does this work? And we just just work it out and work through it and we, we get an end result. And look, our customers love what we do and we just love the, the ability to be able to work with, with timber and these products to, um, to create what essentially is, is real neat stuff and to think that we can do this on a day-to-day -day basis, um, you know, we're, we're just very blessed to be able to do that. So if you've got a project in mind, if you have uh, thought you would like to have something developed that you're just not sure where to go, how, how, to, how to make it happen, give us a call, um, send me an email, get in touch because between us, we can work it out. You know, we, we'll come up with a design that um, suits you, suits your budget, and we can make it happen for you. So we look forward to doing this for you.